Welcome to a journey of spices, excitement, experiences and stories of good flavour meeting great vegetables and fruits right here on Own Cuisine. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Home Cuisine, authentic, universal, meditative. I'm going to be making a fabulous Asian broth today. I'm going to be putting in some toasted sesame seed oil. I love this broth, especially on like a cold day. And you know when you're sitting at home and you really want something that's perfect, that hits the spot, but it has to be a tad exotic. So this is that recipe. So I'm going to be putting in some garlic. Warm up that garlic really nice. You really want all the flavors to be released. That's really important to do. And then I'm going to be adding in the green beans. The green beans will take quite a bit of time to cook, so you really want to put that in first. Then we're going to be throwing in the ginger. You can decide how much ginger you want, but I like quite a bit of ginger during the winter months. And then I'm going to be putting in half the amount of green onions and save the other half. A small little cup of homemade vegetable broth. Then the purple cabbage, carrots, red bell pepper. I'm going to be throwing in quite a bit of water and I love all that to soften up. So I'm going to give it about five minutes covered. So there we go, really, really beautiful and colorful. At this juncture, I'm going to be adding in these mushrooms. These mushrooms have been reconstituted rather. They've been like, they were dehydrated mushrooms and we've rehydrated them. So I'm going to be adding in some morels there with some flower top shiitake. There's nothing like a good Asian broth with mushrooms. I love the flavor of mushrooms. So this is the most important trick. So I'm going to be putting in a tablespoon of red onion paste. So that's going to give us a little bit more heat. And then I'm going to be pouring in more water. And then a big pinch of red chili flakes, a small little pinch of red chili powder or cayenne powder, and then a little mug of mushroom broth. In this case, it's really just the water that was used to soak the mushrooms. That's it. I'm going to be putting in a pinch of black pepper green peas, edamame, and salt to taste. You also want to throw in a quick few dashes of gluten-free soy sauce. So we'll be right back to plate in just a few minutes, but you really want to make sure that this gets a lot of uniform heat and there is at least two or three bubbly action happening, two or three times of the bubbly action, right? So I'm going to put that in. It smells beautiful, so there you go. We'll be right back. All right, that is boiling up real good. Oh, just look at those colors, my goodness. Bathing in splendor. So I'm going to be putting in more of that broth. 
beautiful. I just can't wait to see what this tastes like. It's just amazing. So, um, I'm sure all of you remember our indigo noodles. Thanks again from the Indigo Kitchen for inspiring us. I'm going to lay out the indigo noodles like so, just on the side. We have a beautiful recipe that you should try out with our whole rainbow deal, the rainbow salad. And this is part of that. So there you go. Some sesame seeds there, some green onions here, and just a teeny weeny bit of salt on the noodles. There you have it. I have to do a taste test, which is just, mm, of just the broth actually, to see what it tastes like. Perfect. Mm. And with the mushrooms. Mm. Unbelievably perfect. I hope you enjoy a beautiful night in with your family until we meet again with another episode of Um Cuisine, inspired by the world around us. This is Vadi Priyanka.